So um, after lunch now, we've got a quick uh, lightning talk by Eugene, who needs to run off. He needs to tell us all about his rider passage. He won it last year. Um, yeah, Eugene. Hey, everyone. Um, so I'm sure that most of you are familiar with the rider passage program, but for those who aren't, um, the B-Sides Cape Town group, in collaboration with B-Sides Las Vegas and some sponsors, uh, send a student every year to, well, starting last year, I believe. Oh, the year, last year, yeah. Um, send a student to B-Sides, Las Vegas, and DEF CON um, every year now, following, and uh, to get a bit of experience or whatnot. And um, I wasn't actually the one that was chosen for last year, but unfortunately the person who was uh, wasn't able to make it, so I was second choice, which was cool for me, very sad for him. Um, <laughs> so yeah, a little bit about me. Who's this guy? Uh, my name's Eugene. I, my Twitter is over there. I'm trying to restart that since killing my social media not too long ago. Um, I'm a CS grad from UWC and UCT. I, am, I have a master's in bioinformatics, although it was really a computer science project, but don't tell my supervisor that. Um, he, they get very weird about funding. Um, I'm very passionate about DevOps, cloud, HPC, and that, and that's a lot of things you find that's currently going on in the academic space, um, especially with software research engineering and all that. Um, and very fond of security uh, and how it applies to the work that I do there. I'm by no means an expert though. Uh, professional imposter syndrome have it. You can come ask me if you need advice on how to have imposter syndrome. And uh, as some of you will know me, uh, the intern, and I will probably forever be known as that. Um, right, so a little bit, um, as I explained a little bit about uh, the right passage, so as I understand the thought process, they figured out that, they figured that students are poor, and besides Cape Town has pretty cool sponsors, so why don't we take poor students and fly them to DEF CON and have them experience what it's like to be part of the global InfoSec uh, community and, you know, make some contacts, uh, get some work experience, and obviously be forever indebted to B-Sides Cape Town and work for the people, you know, wherever they need work. <laughs> so, um, experiences at B-Sides Las Vegas. Uh, firstly, the flight sucks hard. A 30-hour flight, and I'm difficult to sleeping, and I'm wedged between people because for some reason I wasn't able to choose my seats uh, because of weird issues with the flight management system. And uh, that means I arrive there, and I can't understand what people are telling me. That's how tired I am. But um, the experience itself, once you wake up, is incredible. It, it's difficult to describe. Um, so... I just want to thank uh, B-Sides Las Vegas and especially Banshee on that side. Uh, they cover the stay for the student uh, while they're at uh, B-Sides as well as DEF CON, um, but obviously expect you to do the work to make that justified. That uh, they, they get you to sign up for hours that you want to volunteer at uh, different jobs during the event, and they only expect you to work for uh, B-Sides Las Vegas. So I'll explain with DEF CON now. Um, you basically, I, I chose to be a, a vault floater, so moving around different jobs, um, doing speaker operations, similar to what Keegan's doing now, um, working AV with the AV company that they brought in, you would you know sit behind the camera, those kinds of things, and then do check-ins for people and whatnot. Um, and seriously, like the work is, is, it's brutal. They make you work the whole day. I mean, you wanna go out, it's Vegas, but all you wanna do after a day of working at B-Sides is just put your feet up. <laughs> um, but it's, it's incredible to see how well they work. You can see that they've got experience, so, the thing, when you start this conference, it's just so many, so minimal amount of issues that come up and they're all insignificant. So, um, and then obviously you as a student uh, will sneak into the talks that you can while you're on shift and uh, go to the talks that you can while you're off shift. And uh, one thing that I was very impressed by was that it was to see the diversity that was there. Genders and people that are generally considered weird in certain societies are represented and enjoying themselves and free and they have an expressive place, you know, everybody's just people. Uh, very awesome to see. So DEF CON, yeah, um, even more difficult to describe. <laughs> it's, uh, the conference was spanned over three hotels. It's DEF CON, um, its main speaking venues are in the Caesars, pa well, at least this year it was in Caesars Palace, which is in the center of the Strip in Vegas, and then two other hotels that were hosting workshops and hosting um, other talks, uh, talk tracks. Um, there are way too many talks, seriously, like way too many. It's a good thing, obviously, but uh, it means that you spend the next how much time after the conference watching videos and uh, not doing important things that you're supposed to be doing. Um, I bumped into a friend of mine, uh, Keith McCann, I'm sure most of you or a lot of you are familiar with him, um, and it was just pretty cool because he told me he doesn't really go to that often, and um, 
yeah, uh, we actually went to university together. Uh, and there are some interesting puzzles and, and challenges that go around. It's like, it's like B -Sides, it's like uh, B sides Las Vegas is B sides Cape Town, but on like tenfold, and then DefCon is B sides Las Vegas, but on like a bazillion fold. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, and the badges are insane. Like the picture here in the bottom right for you guys, that's um, Elastic or Mike. He's around here somewhere. I don't know if he's in the audience right now. Ah, there he is. His badge. He built that for the Monero uh, group or the Monero challenge. Awesome badge. So if he has any left, which I doubt, uh, he, should <laughs> he doesn't. Don't bother him. <laughs> um, some really crazy cool stuff to play with. Um, so some personal base for me that I took away. Um, there was an uh, incredibly interesting uh, uh, talk to me, uh, which was called Fuzzing Malware for Fun and Profit, Applying Coverage Guided Fuzzing to Find and, and Exploit Bugs in Modern Malware, um, which was talking about how uh, one of the demos in the talk was actually how this guy buzz, uh, fuzzed um, Mariah, as was mentioned in the previous talk, actually, before the lunch, and discovered that it had a vulnerability where it didn't correctly handle relative URLs that were passed to it. So you could actually crash the bot by providing it with this response, which is, it's, it's just blew my mind to see the guy do this in action. And uh, the villages. So many things to learn, so many different places you can pop in, and, and from beginner to expert, you can just do whatever you need to do. Um, Figure, you know, play with new things if you don't have the opportunity to do that elsewhere. Uh, some non conference aspects Vegas. I'm not gonna, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, right? So I'm not saying anything about that. Um, <laughs> and meeting people and talking about non security related things. So, so many people with so many vast different um, experiences in different fields, not just security. And it's just interesting to get to see what kind of people go to these events and what else you can learn from them. It's just a couple of photos Vegas. Elastic and uh, Poison Pixie, who sponsored my badge for DEF CON, so awesome. I'm very sad she's not here today. Um, yeah, and <laughs> just a little uh, collage of things. Uh, <laughs> hilarious to see when you walk to Caesar's Palace that they put little googly eyes on all the posters outside. <laughs> and uh, that is a, a Hummer limo, in case anybody is con uh, concerned about what that is. Yes, a Hummer limo. Uh, because it's Vegas. And one funny story I wanted to tell about the DEF CON badge is that um, there were two particular problems with it. Uh, one, that if you reverse the polarity of the batteries, they would start spewing battery acid at you. <laughs> and two, uh, seemingly the batteries decided to spew acid at you anyway, even if you didn't do that. <laughs> so that's what mine looked like after the second day, and I was like, why are my fingers wet when I picked my badge up? Um, so yeah, um, I just wanted to thank everybody at Besides Cape Town. It was one hell of an experience, and... Um, especially Grant, who couldn't be here today, obviously, because he's in England now. Um, just seriously, he helped me out. He took care of me when I, when I got there, sorted me out. Um, B-Sides, Las Vegas, Banshee especially, uh, Fluffy Pony uh, from My Monero, like they sponsored the event, uh, the, the financial contributions. Um, <laughs> Rura Pent for uh, keeping me fed. He's a cool guy, cool guy. Follow him on Twitter. Um, and um, any contributions that people made to the Rite of Passage program, it's, I think it's something that that's very valuable. I think it's something very good that's coming out of B-Sides Cape Town, other than just the knowledge sharing. Um, and it's definitely working towards inspiring students um, to take up this kind of uh, field. And uh, yeah, anyone I'm forgetting. So thanks.